my dear students all of you are welcome in this today's virtual class and i am here to take your english class of grade 6 okay today we are going to do unit 4 but what are we going to do then today we are going to do the grammatical part okay we are going to do the grammatical part we have the lesson festivals of nepal and of unit 4 and today we are going to do the grammatical part so my dear students all of you turn on page 37 and 38 of your book of your textbook are you ready with your textbook yes okay my dear students today we are going to do different type of sentences okay there are different type of sentences in English and we are going to do those type of sentences today understood now I'll show you the types of sentences here let's see it the first one is assertive okay a s s c r t i v e second one it's negative and the third one is what interrogative we'll go through this in detail first of all let me put this here and the fourth one is optative and we have another type of sentence that is exclamatory and at last we have imperative okay now my dear students as i have already told you there are different types of sentences in english okay and they are assertive assertive sentence negative sentence interrogative sentence optative sentence exclamatory sentence and imperative sentence okay these are the type of sentences now now my dear students let's do it in detail about this assertive negative interrogative optative exclamatory and imperative are you ready okay we are going to do six type of sentences today okay one two three four five and six we are going to do six type of sentences okay let's start with the assertive sentence then what is an assertive sentence okay assertive sentence a sentence that states or tells that states that asserts as asserts or tells something is called assertive sentence it starts with noun or a pronoun a sentence that tells something okay that states something or asserts something is called assertive sentence it tells something and it starts with noun or a pronoun let's see the example here see for example they are playing boy ball isn't it they are playing ball now you can see it what are they doing they are playing ball it is telling something okay it is stating something it states or tells something that kind of sentence is called assertive sentence okay and you can see it it starts with noun or a pronoun they what is it what is it it is a pronoun very good it is a pronoun they are playing ball it starts with pronoun it has started where with pronoun and it is telling something they are playing ball now let's have more examples here you can see a tall girl here isn't it so how will you form it into assertive sentence joy is a tall girl it is telling something that means joy is a tall girl and joy is a noun isn't it it is a noun now another what is the boy doing he is riding a bicycle isn't it is it telling something it is telling that the boy is riding a bicycle he is riding a bicycle and he is a pronoun isn't it let's see more examples okay let's see more examples so that it will be clear for you now see it here assertive sentences Ram is a tall boy, he studies in grade 6, 
He can play football. He is from Nepal. These four sentences are assertive sentences. And why are they assertive sentences? Because what? It tells something. Very good. It tells something. And these sentences, we can see it. They start from noun or a pronoun. Isn't it? Now, my dear students, I think you have got some idea about assertive sentences. Let's see another type of sentence that is negative sentence. What is negative sentence? Okay. Okay, negative sentence. A sentence that has not, a sentence that has not, just remember it, okay, just remember, that has not is called a negative sentence. It gives the meaning of no. Okay, it gives the meaning of no. Just like it also starts with noun or a pronoun. Assertive sentence also starts with noun or a pronoun. And negative sentence also starts with noun or a pronoun. And negative sentence gives the meaning no. Okay, it gives the meaning no. Just like you can see the example. For example, he is not a tall boy. You can see it here is a short boy, isn't it? It is a short boy. So, he is not a tall boy and sometimes, sometimes we use neighbor also, neighbor, rare, these are also negative words, okay. Sometimes there won't be not in the sentence also. So, here it starts with noun or pronoun and it gives the meaning no. These are the negative sentences. Now, uh, we can see all the more examples here with pictures. Now, what do you see here in the picture? Just see it. Boy is watching TV, isn't it? And what is he not doing? What is he not doing? Let's see. He is not reading. Is he reading? He is not reading. You have the word not there. And it gives the meaning no. Okay? It gives the meaning no. So, it is negative sentence. Okay? So let's see another picture. Okay, what are the children doing? See, they are carrying shack along the street. What are they doing? They are doing. What are they not doing then? They are, they do not go to school. Okay. They do not go to school. They carry the sacks and walk along the street. Okay, my dear students, I think you have got some idea of negative sentences. Now, let's see more negative sentences. Okay. Let's say it more. Okay. Negative sentences. Now, I'll read it out. You just remember, repeat with me. Ram is not a short boy. He does not study in grade 5. He cannot speak English. He is not from London. What do you see in these sentences? You have not there, isn't it? And it gives the meaning no. It gives the meaning no. And we can see the noun or pronoun here in the beginning, isn't it? Yes or no? Okay, these are the negative sentences. Okay, now we have finished assertive and negative sentence. Now we are going to do interrogative sentence. Okay, let's see it. What is an interrogative sentence? Okay, interrogative sentence. A sentence that asks questions, that asks questions, okay, that asks questions and ends in a question mark. Assertive sentence and negative sentence, they end in a in full stop, okay. But interrogative sentences that ask questions, that ask questions and ends in a question mark and ends in a question mark is called an interrogative sentence, okay. They are often called the questions also. For example, can he play guitar? You can see here in the picture also. So, can he play guitar? This, stat, this sentence is asking question, isn't it? This sentence is asking question and it ends in the question mark also. You can see the question mark here, isn't it? You can see the question mark also. So, a sentence that asks question and ends in a question mark is called an interrogative sentence, okay? It's, this type of sentences are called interrogative sentences. Let's see more examples here with pictures. Okay, this boy is eating something. Then how will you form it in question form? How will you form it in interrogative sentence? How? 
Okay, how? Very good. Very good. What is he eating? What is he eating? One more. Okay, let's see. Okay, this man seems so tired, isn't it? This man seems so tired. So, how will you ask him the question? How will you ask him? How? Okay, very good. Are you tired? If someone feels tired, then you'll ask in this form, isn't it? Are you tired? Yes. Are you tired? Now, let's see more interrogative questions so that it will be clear for you. Okay? Interrogative sentences. Now, I'm going to read it here. Is there any interesting news? You can see. The sentence is asking question and you can see the question mark at the end. Okay, you can see the question mark at the end also. Now, in the second question, how much money have you got? Will you meet me tomorrow? Have you got this paragraph? These all are the interrogative sentences. Why? Why are they interrogative sentences? Why? Because they, the sentences ask questions and the sentences ends with the question mark also, isn't it? They end with, them with the question mark also. So, these type of sentences are called interrogative sentences, okay? I think my dear students, you have got some idea of assertive, interrogative and negative sentences, isn't it? Okay. Now, let's go to another type of sentence, okay, that is, it's written here, it's optative, okay, it's optative, let's see what is optative sentence then, okay, optative sentences, a sentence that expresses wishes, okay, you express wishes, blessings, curses, greetings, prayers, Asectra is an optative sentence, okay? You express wishes to others, blessings, curses. Sometimes when you get angry, you curse others also, isn't it? You curse and you greet others also, you pray also. These kind of sentences are called optative sentences, okay? That expresses wishes, just like you wish on birthday, isn't it? And other, in other occasions, on other occasions also, blessings, you give blessings, curses, greetings, prayers, etc. is called an optative sentence. Now, for example, may you have a good morning. You can see the picture here also. Have a nice day. May you have a good morning. Isn't it? These are the, this is the optative sentence. Let's see more examples here. Okay, you can see the beautiful picture here, isn't it? May you live long and what is it written here? May you live long as may you live as long as you wish and love as long as you live happy birthday wishing isn't it wishing during birthday may you live long okay let's see more optative sentences here just like may god help us isn't it may god help us may you defeat your rivals may you pass your exams wish you a happy journey these are the optative sentences okay what are optative sentences what is an optative sentence is to express wishes blessings courses isn't it these are the optative sentences okay these are the optative sentences now let's go to the another type of sentence that is exclamatory sentence okay what is an exclamatory sentence then what is an exclamatory sentence okay exclamatory sentence what is it a sentence that expresses sudden feelings a sentence that expresses sudden feelings or emotions is called an exclamatory sentence okay that expresses sudden feelings Emotions is called an exclamation. Now, what do you see here in the picture? See, for example, hooray, we won the game. They are so happy. They are expressing sudden feelings or emotions. You can see it there, isn't it? They are expressing very sudden feelings or emotions. And this type of sentence is called an exclamatory sentence. You can see here, 
Hooray, we won the game. Look, they are so happy. And they're expressing sudden feelings or emotions. That kind of sentences are called exclamatory sentences. Okay. Now, let's see other pictures also. Now, what happens? See? Ouch, my leg is paining. His leg is paining and he has sudden feelings and emotions. Isn't it? Now, he's crying. You can see him crying because his leg is paining. Isn't it? Now, let's see more exclamatory sentences here. Just like, what horrible weather, what horrible weather. It's a sudden feeling and expression, isn't it? It's sudden feeling and expression. Now, another, how intelligent she is. How intelligent she is. It's sudden feelings and expressions. Bravo, you did well in the exam. Oh, he failed the test. Oh, he failed the test, isn't it? It's sudden feelings, whether it is of happiness or sorrow, isn't it? What horrible weather? How intelligent she is. Bravo, you did well in the exam. Oh, he failed the test. So, these type of sentences are called exclamatory sentences, okay? Now, another type of sentence is the imperative sentence, okay? We have the imperative sentence sentence what is an imperative sentence then okay before starting this sentence i'll ask you one question uh, do you do you tell someone to do something do you tell them uh, someone to tell to do something or not just like sort the door close the window do your work do you tell or not do you tell your juniors do you tell your younger brother or sisters in your house Yes or no? Yes. Isn't it? You tell. And this type of sentences are called, what kind of sentence? You give command. Isn't it? You give command to someone. This type of sentences are called what? Imperative sentence. Good. This type of sentences are called imperative sentences. Okay. Just like, see here. A sentence that expresses command, okay? A sentence that expresses command, order, you order someone, you give, you express command and you suggest someone, okay? Suggest someone, you want others or request. Just like you can see, a sentence, it's written, a sentence that expresses command, order, suggestion, warning or request is called an imperative sentence. Okay, I told you just before where you command others, you order others, you give suggestions also, you warn others also. Don't do that. Okay, don't do that. Close the door or some or request also. Will you please give me your copy? Will you please give me your notebook? Isn't it? This type of sentences are called an imperative sentence. Okay, sentences. Now let's see the example here. It starts with verb. Okay, it starts with verb. Just like uh, close the door. Close is what? Verb, isn't it? It starts with verb. Close is verb. Now what do you see here in this picture? It's a messy room, isn't it? It's a messy room. Do you clean your room or not? Is your room like this? Is your room like this? No, isn't it? Your room is clean, I know it. Your room is clean. So, what kind of comma, what kind of imperative sentence will you write for this uh, room? How will you tell? How will you tell? Okay, good. Look at the mesh in your room. Isn't it? Otherwise, you can tell it, clean your room. Isn't it? Look, you can see it, this aloe. Okay, look is verb. Isn't it? Look at the mesh in your room. Now, you otherwise, you can tell, clean your room also. Both sentences, look and clean, both of them start with verb. And this comma, these imperative sentences are called command sentences also. Okay. And we give command, we warn others, give suggestions. This, in this 
imperative sentences. Now let's see one more example of the picture. Now what is it there? A uh, boy is standing in front of the door. Then how can you form it into common sentence? How will you form it? How will you form it? Okay, close the door. The door is open and it's telling close the door. It's, it's telling that closing the door to someone, isn't it? It's giving command. So, this type of sentences are called imperative sentences. Let's see more imperative sentences here. Okay, let's see it here. Now, do your homework. Someone is telling him to do his work. Do your homework. You can see it's verb here, do. is the verb here, do your homework. Okay, it's do your homework. And you know that, you know that this imperative sentence suggests or give commands, isn't it? It gives commands. Now, what do you see here in this picture? See, what do you see? Now, what are you telling here? Now, see, go to the school. Go to the school, isn't it? Go to the school is also an imperative sentence. How? Because someone is telling them, go to the school. And they are going to the school. Someone is telling them. And it, uh, it's, it is verb at the first year, isn't it? Go is the verb. Now let's see more imperative sentences here. Okay, let's see more imperative sentences. Okay, imperative sentences. Go ahead. Come here. Have a cup of tea. And do not sit here. Go, come, have, do. What are they? What are they? This go, come, have, do. What are they? They are verbs. Okay, very good. They are verbs. And these all are imperative sentences. Why? Because they, they give command, isn't it? Go ahead, come here, have a cup of tea. So have a cup of tea is just like telling someone to have a cup of tea, isn't it? Do not sit here. These all are imperative sentences, okay? Now, my dear students, the, I have taken this, this exercise, this one, see? Tick the rules you have in your class, okay? I have taken it from your book. You can see it there in a book at page number 38 you can see it there okay take the rules you have in your class do you have these rules or not let's see it try your hardest in the class will you have this rule or not try your hardest in the class will you try your hard or not yes yes so you can take it here enjoy your work enjoy your work this is also one of the rule of your class isn't it yes so you can tick it here also number c close the window if you are cold now if you are cold you close the window close the window if you are cold this is also one of the rule so you tick it here also put your hand up to ask a question will you put your hand up to ask a question yes yes isn't it yes so, this one is also a classroom rule. Don't shout out. Is it good to shout out in the class? Is it good? No. Will you shout? Will you shout or not? No. Very good. You will not shout. Now, another. Don't hit other children. Do you hit other children in the class? Other friends or the junior ones of your class? Do you hit? No, very good. All of you are so good that you won't hit all the children in the class. Now, another, don't chew gum. Do you chew gum in the class? When a teacher is teaching or when you are in the school premises? Will you chew gum? No, okay. So, this was, again, we are going to read the rules. Try your hardest in the class. Enjoy your work. Close the window if you are cold. Put your hands up to raise a question. Don't shout out. Don't hit other children. Don't chew gum. These all are your classroom rules. So you have to take it. Okay. And what type of sentence is it? 
we have done different type of sentences isn't it yes or no we have done different type of sentences so what type of sentences are these just like see it's try enjoy close put don't 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 these all sentences start with what these all sentences start with verb very good these all sentences start with verb and someone is uh, giving uh, you have the rule there someone is giving order or command isn't it so what type of sentence is it what type of sentence Mm, just like it starts with verb and someone is giving order or command. What? Among this? Among this which one? Imperative. Very good. These all are the imperative sentences. Okay. We have one more rule of imperative sentence. Okay. Let's see it here. Remember. Okay. You remember. Remember you can use please to be more polite. Okay, you can tell it in the polite way also using please. Just like you can see the examples here. Please put the plates on the table. Isn't it? Please put the plates on the table. Now another is don't make so much noise please. Now see, please, please put the tables on the table. It, plates on the table. It seems more polite, isn't it? If you tell that, Put the table, put the table, uh, put the plates on the table. Then will it be polite? No, isn't it? But if you put please there, please put the plates on the table, then it will be more polite, and the people they will be also so happy with you, isn't it? You are not just not ordering. You are telling it of suggesting. You are suggesting them. You are telling it them in a very polite way, and they will be so happy also. Okay. Just like another also, don't make so much noise, please. This one is also in very poor, this, one, this sentence is also in a polite way. Okay, don't make so much noise, please. Isn't it? You're telling it in polite way. Now, be careful. Be careful. Don't say you and use the verb without to. Okay, while making an imperative sentence, while making an imperative sentence, don't say you. Don't tell that you don't make noise. Okay, you don't make noise. You don't make noise. That will be not, that won't be correct. So, you say it, just use the verb. Just use the verb, you see. Don't make so much noise, please. Just like you, the verb is there. And don't write to also. Okay, while making imperative sentences. Okay, my dear students, I'll write some of the sentences here on the board and you have to identify the types of sentences. Okay, are you ready for that? Good, because we did how many types of sentences? How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Isn't it? We did six types of sentences. Now, I will give you the work to do. Let's see it here. Identify the types of these sentences. Okay. Okay. And number one, eight is he does his work. Okay, he does his work. Number two is, he did not do his work. And number three is, is he doing his work? Okay, and number four is, May you live long. May you live long. And number five is Hooray. We won the game. We won the game. And number six is Go out. Okay. Now, my dear students, 
we have learned different type of sentences okay we have learned different type of sentences now you have to identify the types of these sentences okay i'll read it out here he does his work what type of sentence is it what type of sentence is it it is an assertive sentence very good how is it an assertive sentence because it tells something and it starts with what pronoun isn't it? it starts with pronoun now the second one he did not do his work it is not here so what type of sentence is it what type of sentence very good negative okay this is negative sentence now the third one third one see is he doing his work is he doing his work us this sentence is asking something and there is a question mark here at the end so this is an interrogative sentence very good this is an interrogative sentence okay now may you live long someone is blessing you okay may you live long someone is blessing you so optative very good optative sentence and number five is hooray we won the game what type of sentence is it hooray we won the game exclamatory isn't it yes it's a sudden feelings and expressions so it is an exclamatory sentence and go out is go out we did at last it is an imperative sentence okay it starts with verb also isn't it and some telling someone ordering someone to go out also okay these are the different types of sentences okay my dear students now let's see there in your book we have another exercise also put the words in correct order to make sentences okay how to put these words in correct order to make sentences okay i'll see so you here in the chat okay the, i have taken it from your book it's uh, at, in the page number 38 of your book you see it put the words in correct order to make sentences okay have to put it in correct order and the example is example is also given example salt pass me please the pass me the salt please okay i have taken it from the book now this one door please answer the what will be the correct answer what will be the correct answer you can see the capital word also here and what will be the answer answer the door please okay answer the door please isn't it answer the door please this is the correct answer isn't it good now second one lunch don't you forget lunch don't you forget what will be the okay very good don't forget your lunch don't forget your lunch now another see here english speak please in what will be the correct answer speak in english please isn't it speak in english please speak in english please and the last one what is it wait please for me what will be the correct answer wait for me please okay wait for me please wait for me please okay my dear students we have done this exercise from the book also now let's see what did we do today okay summary we learned the grammar part today we did the grammar part where we studied the different types of sentences 
they were assertive, negative, interrogative, imperative, optative and exclamatory sentences. We talked about these sentences with rules and examples. Isn't it? We did a lot of rules and examples. We did exercises related to the type of sentences. Lastly, we put the words in correct order to make imperative sentences, okay? Now, at the end of the class, I'm going to give you the homework. Let's see it. Homework, make two, two sentences of each type of sentences. We did six type of sentences, isn't it? We did six type of sentences. Now, you have to make two, two sentences of each type of sentences, okay? Okay, my dear students, I think you have enjoyed my class very much. Thank you and namaste.